hello good day people today we are going to look at the hydraulic radius and the hydraulic depth of a trapezoidal section okay of this open channel flow so um it says the question says an open trapezoidal channel has a base width of eight meters okay it has a base width of eight meters and the depth of flow is 2.4 meters if the side slope of the channel is one horizontal to three vertical calculate the hydraulic radius r and the hydraulic depth d of the channel okay so let's Let's say we have this hydraulic radius. Um, sorry, we have this trapezoidal section. Okay, with a top width of T, like we have here. Um, just to get a rectangular section, we have our base with A and B. Okay, then our original top with c and d you can put e here you can as well put f here okay then all right now in order for us to get our top width you will agree with me that we would have to add this e plus e a plus a b plus b f to get our top width okay so and not forget in order for us to get our top width, we have top width, which is DC, okay? Top width DC is equal to what we have here already. AB plus EA plus BF, okay? Now, our AB is already known as B plus our um our horizontal distance which is ea and bf but we have a horizontal distance ea is equal to bf it's also equal to x y where the x is the side slope okay where x is the side slope one vertic uh, one vertical to x horizontal therefore b plus the side slope so two x y okay so the top weight is equal to b plus two x y b plus two x y now we already know our b to be eight meters plus two times x x which is the one vertical x horizontal but in the question it gives us it says if the side slope of the channel are one horizontal three vertical basically one over three okay one horizontal three vertical times our y which is 2.4 adding up this one we have 9.6 meters to be our top width okay this plus this plus this we are getting our top width now we have to calculate for the slant side okay this is our slant side This is our slant side. We have to calculate for our slant side. So, uh -huh. slant side AD. Okay, our slant side AD is equal to our slant side BC. So, our slant side. 
AD is equal to BC, which is given as the square root of y squared plus s squared plus sorry s squared y squared okay square root of y squared plus s squared y squared equal to y square root of s squared plus one we already have our y to be 2.4 okay from here so 2.4 square root of our x which is the um sloop this one one over three squared plus one this is going to give us 2.529 okay meters that's this one side now we can calculate for our area of flow of a trapezoidal section so the area of flow a the area of flow a is equal to the top width okay the top width plus the bottom width all divided by two times the depth of flow okay so our top width we had 9.6 meters remember our bottom width was given as 8 meters then our depth of flow was given as 2.4 therefore top flow the top width which is 9.6 plus the bottom width 8 divided by 2 times our depth which was given as 2.4 meters if we add up this one get a 21 point 12 meters square as our area of flow go ahead and we calculate for our weighted perimeter p weighted perimeter p this time around is our perimeter around our trapezoidal channel or section okay so a plus b plus a plus d plus b plus c okay a plus b a plus d b plus c so a plus b a plus d plus b plus c a plus b which is our bottom which is eight a plus d which is our slant uh, slant slope or our slant side okay 2.529 calculated the slant side 2.529 so 2.529 plus 2.529 going to have our p 13.058 meters okay now we can calculate for our hydraulic radius r which is area of flow divided by our weighted perimeter area of flow we have 21.12 21.12 divided by 13.058 it's giving us 1.617 meters okay now hydraulic depth d which is always given us the area of flow divided by our top weight okay area of flow 21.2 divided by our top width our top width which we had 9.6 meters so 9.6 meters is equal to 
21.12 divided by 9.6 2.2 meters so we have our hydraulic radius to be 1.617 meters and our hydraulic depth to be 2.2 meters